Hello, Virgos. <clears throat> My name is Melissa Romack, and I am the owner and operator of Romack Studios. Today, we're going to be doing a full moon reading for Virgo for the week before to the week after of the full moon. The full moon is March 28th, and the full moon this month is in Aries. So all about passion, forward motion, sometimes anger, but usually it's about passion. So I'm just going to light some Palo Santo here, meditate it on the cards, we're clearing the area and the space for Virgo. All right, so let's get right into it, Virgo. We've got full moon reading for March 28th. And today we're going to be doing the Red Dragon Tarot Spread. Seven cards. <laughs> Already wanting to jump out on me. All right. What's the first card we got going on? The Dream, Your Heart's Desire, Virgo. Ooh, Two of Cups. So, Virgo, your dream is love. Partnership. Companionship. That's the dream. Two beautiful people there with two cups full of love what a great start virgo all right the second card your companions what's the assistance you will receive this month for this full moon full moons are all about illuminating the darkness full moons are about <laughs> okay spirit saying keep going full moons are all about illuminating the darkness and manifestation they're about endings but, you know, as much as the new moon is the new beginning and full moon is the ending, full moon illuminates so that you can get started on that new beginning, right? I find that the full moon energy for me is uh, very, very intense and usually allows me to see the things that I had not been seeing, whether that be about myself or about others, okay? All right. So, your companions, the assistance you will receive on this journey, Virgo, Ace of Wands, wow, very, very magical, very, very passionate, very, very forward motion, but uh, it's interesting because the Ace of Wands it's a it's a very powerful energy the ace of wands um the one of anything obviously is is um very powerful but i feel like what you have here is the two of cups is your dream then the ace of wands is your companions so how you get to this dream the assistance you will receive to get to this dream passion passion thrust for life forward motion um ace of wands is all about loving your life a lust for life okay now the third card that we're going to pull here is the journey so this is the unfamiliar places you must go to realize your dream virgo oh ten of cups ten of cups what a beautiful reading what a beautiful card virgo so the unfamiliar places you must go to realize this dream do you see these children in here ten of cups family this is the you must surrender surrender to the love surrender to this two of cups then you got this passion thrust for life as your companion and your journey the unfamiliar places you must go is the ten of cups so what virgos here are afraid of being happy. Has it been that long that you felt happiness, Virgo? Because this unfamiliar places, this Ten of Cups is like the best card almost that you can get in the whole deck. It's full of love. It's successful love. It's abundance. So that's an unfamiliar place. You have to accept the abundance, accept the love to get to that Two of Cups. Now, the fourth card is your magical gifts, the new skills required for success, the star. I can't make this shit up, guys. Legit, the star. So it's the star 
is all about, um, for me, self-empowerment. Okay, so the magical gift, you must realize you are a magical being. The new skills required for success, uh, surrender to spirit, surrender to the love, surrender to the happiness. You do deserve it, okay? The star card. We'll pull some clarifiers on that as well. So, all right. Wow, what a beautiful reading, Virgo. Okay, so five, what's the enchantment? The hidden obstacles along the path. What's the hidden obstacles along the path for Virgo this month for the full moon, please? Oh, two cards, okay. Prince of Cups in reverse. So the enchantment, the hidden obstacles along the path, is that you don't deserve it. Okay, Prince of Cups, like so many cups going on here. This is incredible, Virgo. All of the love is ridiculous here. All this cups, okay? So the Prince of Cups. <sighs> okay, so Prince is somebody who's almost a king, right? So the Prince of Cups is someone who is seeking. Um, you know, the enchantment, the hidden obstacles along the path. So it's, it's telling you that the enchantment here in your journey this month, okay? The enchantment is that you don't want love. But you do. Because this Prince of Cups upright, Prince of Cups upright is, is uh, looking for the Holy Grail, looking for a union, looking for passion, and looking for this Two of Cups. Okay, that's what the Prince of Cups is doing, is looking for this card. And he's in reverse, which means you've already found it. And you just don't want to accept that. So if you're single Virgo, this could be um, not wanting to accept loving yourself. Okay. Um, if you're in a relationship or a partnership Virgo, it's already there for you. You don't have to go looking for anything. It's sitting. That's the enchantment. It's right in front of you. You just have to accept it. Okay. Now, the sixth card is the dragon. What you must be friend, sacrifice, defend, or defeat. Your ego. King of Wands. King of Wands is super passionate. Okay. But the dragon here for you is the King of Wands. Okay, so, <clears throat> I don't know. It, it says what you befriend, sacrifice, or defeat, or defend. And I feel like in this case, Virgo, this is definitely a defeat. Okay? Um, I'm not really sure you want to defend this, but I don't know. The dragon inside you is, is ego. That's very much what I'm getting out of this reading. Okay, the King of Wands. King of Wands is a gentleman who is like the center of the world, the center of the sun. His ego is massive because he's full of passion. You see those two big lions, right? This man sits on his throne. He's got the world at his fingertips. And he's contemplating. Look at his face. Hand placement and all. Right? This is what you must sacrifice or defeat is your ego, Virgo. Because if you're living in this material ego world, and I know wands are in your head, I feel like it's not actual material because it's not a pentacle, okay? But it's a wand, which means it's intellect. So that to me tells me that you're spending too much time in your head to be able to get to this beautiful spread you have going on here. This, you've got to surrender. Surrender to the love. Let go of that ego, Virgo. And that's how you're going to get this beautiful two of cups. That, that's what you're asking for. All right. All right, Virgo. The awakening. The final outcome of your efforts. Whoa. Okay. Ha. The hermit. So this is very Virgo energy, the hermit. Okay. Now, the hermit upright... 
usually means going within. So the awakening, the final outcome of your path. There's one, two, three, the trine up there, the trine of um, shooting stars, okay? And then you've got the moon and you've got his wand acting as a light. And then this light here, he's the lighthouse. The hermit goes within, okay? Does a whole lot of self healing and then becomes the light for everybody else. That's a actually really good awakening is to go deep within, do that inner work, that shadow work so you can become the light. That's how you get this two of cups by becoming the light Virgo. Okay. All right. Let's pull some clarifier cards on this. This is a excellent reading, definitely in depth, but excellent reading. Um, this two of cups, we're going to go with, uh, the path of the soul destiny cards on this two of cups spirit. Can we please get a clarifier for the dream for Virgo, the heart's desire for Virgo, which is that two of cups clarifier. How do they get to that two of cups? What must they know? Okay. Five change. Okay. Five is all about change. You need to take a look at your life, Virgo, and really make the big steps you need to make to change the things that you need to change to get to this two of cups. So card five is boundless. This card without, this is a card without limits, no limits. It is eternal and infinite. Either you are just beginning to experience your own unlimited nature or you are holding yourself back from it. That makes more sense, Virgo. You're holding yourself back as per this Prince of Cups to get to this Two of Cups. Stop holding yourself back. Fall into it. Surrender to it. Love it. This card asks you to remove any doubts and fears you may have. Move forward in faith, knowing the only limits you will ever experience are the ones you have created for yourself based on your own beliefs. A world without boundaries or limits is opening to you. Anything and everything is possible. Okay, Virgo, it's telling you, you've got limiting beliefs, which is blocking you from getting this two of cups love that you desire. Let go, surrender, surrender those limiting beliefs. All right. This Ace of Wands clarifier for the companions. Let's pull from the Moonology deck since it is a full moon reading. So can I get a clarifier spirit, please? Thank you to my guys, my spirit guys, my angels, everyone for guiding me to get clear, concise messages for Virgo today. The companions, the assistance you must receive or you will receive is the ace, that's too many cards, ace of wands. So ace of wands, thrust for life. Remind yourself that love for life, that lust for life, that passion, Virgo. If you've lost it, you've got to find some things to get yourself back into it so you're feeling satisfied again with life. And, you know, that's a personal thing for yourself. I don't even feel like that's a partner thing. And if you don't have a partner, that's how you're going to get one. Ah, hold your vision. Fixed moon. Be passionate, but hold your vision. Okay, Virgo. You're going forward with a thrust for life, but you always got that end goal in mind. Okay, end goal in mind. Ten of Cups. I'm going to pull from the Murder of Crows tarot deck. This I generally kind of use for a shadow deck, which would be um, anybody who knows tarot would be like, why are you pulling a shadow deck on a Ten of Cards? Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups is like one of the most beautiful cards you can get in this deck. It is all full of love and family. Um, and I want to see the clarifier because this is the unfamiliar places you must go to realize your dream. So I want to know from spirit, please, for Virgo, some clarifier cards on this 10 of cups. Can we tell Virgo what they are doing that are blocking themselves from this 10 of cups? Hmm. I really honestly can't make this shit up. King of wands. Again, okay, so you got two king of wands here. So you're fighting your ego hardcore, past beliefs hardcore. So you're not getting to this ten of cups, this ultimate place of love and family and abundance. 
because your ego is blocking you with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is over here too on, on your dragon. So your dragon, your inner dragon, your demon, sometimes your dragon can be a positive. Sometimes it can be uh, viewed as a negative. So if your dragon is the Ten of Wands, your dragon is your ego, your dragon is what's blocking you from this Ten of Cups, then you got to befriend that dragon and make it your bitch. Okay, Virgo? Make it yours. Take control of the situation, please. All right. So for this star card, star is a beautiful new beginning, but also about ending. So I feel like you're letting go of this ego here to get to this positiveness. Um, the star. Wow. What a beautiful card. Oh, and esoteric astrology just popped right out for me. It says, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Intelligence is your power. Use it kindly. Okay, that is a Gemini sign and it is mutable. So Gemini up here. Okay, and it's a mutable sign. So the sun, or sorry, the star. So we're looking at the star card. Let's just take a minute here, Virgo. Okay. We're, 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 it's obvious that the ego is blocking you from love, right? The star card is the ultimate, um, love from within, new beginning, passion. She's got all of the elements in her, the star, all of the elements. She's, she's ready and raring to go. She is ready to give you that new beginning. And it's telling you here, okay, your brain is stopping you. Gemini is all about back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, yin and yang, right? Make a decision, step into the power because it says here, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Intelligence is your power. Use it kindly. Remember that not everybody is as smart as you are, Virgo. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull an emotional on that um, from the Enlightenments, Enlightenments with the Elements deck from Remax Studios, just because it's basically telling you that your ego, <laughs> this King of Wands, I keep coming back to it, I'm sorry, but this King of Wands is telling you that just because you can doesn't mean you should, doesn't mean, you know, you're super, super smart, but use it kindly, don't use it to, you know... Uh, use your, your, your power for good, not evil. Does that make sense to some of you, maybe? Um, but what is the element that they need to embody, Virgo needs to embody? What does Virgo need to know about their chakras, their elements? Where's the blockage that they need to work on to get through the star? Now, be grounded in who you are. So this is the earth element for Virgo. Makes sense. This is the solar plexus chakra. Okay, here in yellow, be grounded in who you are. That is what's going to get you to the star card. Okay, very important. Um, you are an earth element and you need that balance. You need that balance between abundance and money and emotions and, and love. And there is a balance to be had, Virgo. Okay. Because if you're grounded in who you are, you will get to that Two of Cups. Now, we're going to pull the Murder of Crows Tarot on this Prince of Cups. Because I'm honestly, I'm curious. I want to know, Spirit, this Prince of Cups in reverse as the enchantment. The hidden obstacles along the path. So for Virgo, can we give them some clear messages as to how they're blocking themselves? How can they get past that? How can they see that enchantment, that hidden obstacle, and uh, transmute it into something beautiful? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. And this looks like the Strength card, but... It's a new deck, so I'm just going to look it up to make sure. Okay. Wow, what a crazy reading here. You guys are doing great. So the Knight of Pentacles, we'll start with that one, okay? So the Knight of Pentacles. It's a devoted emissary, okay? Um, 
grounded exploration, taking the sensible path to success. It's saying that they will journey to uncharted realms while they gaze at the horizon, their wise spirit keeping them safe on the ground. They will follow the certain route to victory. It's there. So that's your enchantment, is that you can't do it or you don't have it. You're going to realize you do. This night's going to bring to you the realization that you do. You do have it, okay? Completely and utterly have it. And I am right. This is the strength card, okay? You're going to use your inner strength to help you realize that path, all right? You can sense and feel the changes more than you can see them. You know that you're changing. You know that you've worked really hard in the past. You know that you've been going deep within and scratching away and digging and blood, sweat, and tears. Okay? Now, here's the thing. is With the strength card, it's all about listening to your intuition. Listen to your inner self, Virgo. Okay? Power from within. Overcome the inner saboteur. Master restraint. Wrestle with the shadow. All right? So you can do it. You got the strength card. You got the, the knight of pentacles on this prince of cups. It's going to turn everything around. I think it's going to be really, really great. You're going to get through this, Virgo. You're going to go through. You're going to hold your vision. You deal with your ego again with the love. This is the fight that you're having, the journey, the unfamiliarness that you have to surrender to as per the star. Be grounded in who you are. Don't try to change who you are for this family card, okay? For the Ten of Cups. If you change who you are for the Ten of Cups, because the star is all about being yourself, okay? And then it says be grounded in who you are. Figure that out, Virgo. Be who you are. That Two of Cups will come to you just as you are. That's what this is telling you over here. The Prince of Cups is telling you that you think you don't have it, but you do. You've got the Knight of Pentacles saying, here, here's the strength. Here's the everything. Here's the money. Here's the abundance. You've got it all. And then the Strength Guard, Virgo. No doubt in my mind you got this knocked. Okay? Please. Now for this King of Wands. We're going to pull some more from the Murder of Crow Tarot. I feel like it really connects with Virgos. If you are a Virgo and you're seeing this reading, please leave me a comment in below if uh, this deck is connecting with you. All right, so King of Wands, the dragon. What do Virgos need to do with this King of Wands? Whoa, that jumped right out. Let me grab it for you. Oh my, Virgo, it's the tower. Tower this bitch, Virgo. You can make a tower happen yourself too, you know. So people think that the tower is such a scary thing. This is the universe telling you. Change this king of wands. This tower needs to flip everything around. This past belief system that you have in your mind of how things should be, change it. That's how you're going to get that two of cups. Change your ego. Change your perception. Change your world. Wow, that is powerful as fuck. I'm sorry, but it is. All right, let's go with a enlightenment with the elements deck on that tower. So we understand that Virgos have this energy of this ego has come up twice. It's blocking them from the Ten of Cups. How, what blockage do they have, spirit, and which chakra, which element do they need to embody to clear the blockage in that chakra for that tower card? to get to the light. Again, flying out of my hands. Find your life purpose to find bliss. So this dark blue border means it's a water card, which means it's emotion. Okay. This is violet, the crown chakra. Stick this bitch to the top of your head, okay? Crown chakra. Find your life purpose to find bliss. Where are you unhappy, Virgo? You are unhappy. You're not fulfilled. You're not doing what you love. And this tower's got to change that. This wand, King of Wands, is telling you you have to do it a certain way. Tower spirit saying, no, you don't. Just do what you love. And you'll be just fine. And you'll get this two of cups. 
Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay, now the Hermit. We're going to pull from the Moonology deck for the Hermit because it is the light. It's all about the full moon. Illumination. Illumination for the full moon, Virgos. You guys can do this. You guys, this is a beautiful reading. It really is. It's about finding your, rediscovering your lust for life here. Okay? To find that love, if you're single, to find that love within yourself so that you can attract that partner in if that's what you're looking to do. If you're in a relationship, I feel like to get to that next level of commitment, that family card, that, that ten of cups, that beautiful rainbow, that best card in the flipping deck, let go of your past belief systems, right? All right, this popped out. It's time to release negativity. You want to get to this light, Virgo? You want to get to this hermit, Virgo? Full moon in Scorpio. Cannot make this shit up, okay? Let go. Scorpio is a water sign. A lot of people don't know that. It's all about emotions, okay? Emotions, passion, sexuality. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. It is time to release your negative past belief systems about sex, about love, about family, about emotions. Let it go and you will become the light. Thanks, Virgo, for joining me. Um, wow, what a reading. Okay, we're gonna pull from my head. What do we got? What do we got for Virgo? Let's see. Oh, Peridot. It's a very small piece of Peridot. Peridot, abundance is coming to you, Virgo. Maybe that's the ego that you think you need money to get forward, but you don't. But it's coming to you anyway. With that parado, it's coming to you. The abundance is coming to you. You gotta release the negativity to get there. Once you release that negativity, that ego, surrender to the divine, to to that love, and you'll get that. You'll be the star. Right? That's the journey. That's the unfamiliar place. You gotta. The unfamiliar place is that you are a fucking star, Virgo. Beautiful star. Let it shine. Okay. Let that star shine let that beauty shine through into the world let that ego go tower that moment and come it and bring it back into love okay now i am on youtube if that's where you found me please hit the red subscribe button it helps me a lot um like the video share with your friends or any other virgos that you know that helps me as well um, thank you all so, so much. You can also find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I do free readings for the new moon and the full moon every month. Uh, have a fabulous weekend, Virgos. Take a minute to breathe this full moon. And uh, go some, do some deep soul searching, okay? I love you much, Lee. Have a great week.